Hello everyone, uh, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to factory reset your Dell XPS 13. Uh, this is the newest one, this is the 2015. And uh, I just want to show you guys uh, both ways of factory resetting it. Um, I'm going to show you how to reset it if you can get into the laptop like this, if you could use it. And I'm also going to show you how to hard reset it. Um, if you have a password on it and you can't log into it, um, I'll show you how to hard reset it so that you can start using it again. Um, all right, first off, let's start with uh, this uh, hard reset, which is through the settings. So all you're going to do is, uh, also, uh, this Dell is running Windows 10. Um, all you have to do is you're going to go down here to the search, and then you're going to type recovery. All right, this is gonna come up and you're gonna select recovery options. All right, so you're gonna get these options right here. You're gonna select the one that says uh, reset this PC, get started. And then uh, here it's gonna uh, give you two more options. You can uh, keep your files. That is not a complete reset uh, because some stuff will stay on the computer. Um, but you can do this if your computer is, uh, is not so bad, but if your computer is running really slow, you think it may have a virus, I recommend you select this option, which is remove everything. Um, but remember this will erase everything on your computer. So, uh, backup, I suggest you manually backup, uh, stuff that you don't want deleted, like your pictures or uh, files, uh, anything. Um, but this is the, uh, the option I recommend if, uh, if your computer is going really slow and it has a virus. You're going to select this one that says remove everything. And your computer will completely be reset back to its factory condition. Here it's going to give you uh, some other options. It's going to say just remove my files or remove files and clean the drive. So you're going to select this one. It says this may take a few hours. But will make it harder for someone to recover your removed files. Use this if you're recycling the PC. So the second option is the one you would go to if you want to completely reset the PC. All right, I'm going to select cancel for the purpose of this video. Um, now I'm going to show you how to do uh, the other way of hard resetting it, which is if uh, it has a password and you can't log into it. All right, so now for the hard reset, uh, let's re uh, let's turn off the computer. I'm going to select restart so I can show you uh, that the computer has a password. And uh, to you know, uh, give you steps step by step from there. All right, so the computer booted up. And as you can see, it's asking me for the password now after I reset it. The password is incorrect. It's not letting me log in. All right, so this is what we're going to do. Once you're on this screen, all you're going to do uh, is you're going to hold the power button until it shuts off. So hold it for about five seconds. One, two, three, four five let it go all right then what you're gonna do is you're gonna power it on and as soon as you power it on start tapping f11 it might not work on the first try but um, it will most always work on the second try okay so let's do it so you can see start tapping f11 All right, so it looks like it did not work on this first try because it's still asking me for the password. It's not working. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to do it again. Let's power off and the brightness went all the way down because of F11. Okay, so let's, let's do it one more time. Let's hold it for about five to 10 seconds till it shuts off completely. 
One, two, three, four, five. That should be good. Let it go. Okay, and then now we're gonna power it on again and tap F11 again. It's gonna say, please wait this time. And it's gonna take you to this recovery screen. All right, so yep, that's how you do it. If you have a password on it and you can't get into it, this is how you get to the recovery system of the computer. Um, all right, so here you're gonna select uh, see advanced repair options. You're gonna select that. Then uh, once you see uh, the other options here, you're going to select troubleshoot okay and then here you are going to select reset this pc which is the top one all right so then once again here it gives you the two options keep my files or remove everything uh, i'm going to select remove everything Um, also remember to uh, have your laptop plugged into the electricity or make sure it has a, a nice amount of juice in the battery because this uh, can take uh, pretty long. So you don't want the computer turning off in the process. All right, so here it gives you the two other options. Just remove my files or fully clean the drive. Uh, I'm going to select fully clean the drive, which is the complete factory reset. All right, and then finally confirm here by selecting reset. Once you do that, the process will begin. So as you can see, it says resetting this PC 1%. I'm gonna pause the video and I'll continue recording once it's closer to uh, the 100% mark. All right, so finally uh, it's at 99% now. Um, I'm not sure how long it's going to stay stuck uh, here at 99%. So I'm probably just going to pause recording and continue recording uh, as soon as it gets to the 100%. All right, so... All right, so... Um, yeah, the reset uh, got to 100% and this is the next screen that it's on now. It's a scanning and repairing drive C. This is going a lot quicker though. All right, so that got to 100%. Let's see where it takes us to now. Okay, so now it's uh, reinstalling Windows, I guess. Installing Windows, your PC will restart several times. Sit back and relax. 0%. Installing features and drivers. All right, so it's at 2%. Uh, I'm going to wait till it gets closer to 100% again, and then I'll keep recording. All right, so the installing uh, finally got to 100%. And this is the screen that we're brought up to. This is the initial setup of the computer where it says hi there and then you have to input all your information on how you want uh, your computer to be. So yeah, that's, uh, that's the whole video. That's how you reset the Dell uh, XPS 13. This is the i7, but it works for, the, uh, for any of them. Yeah, the i5, i7, I don't know if they come with an i3. Um, hope this video helped you out. If it did, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. Peace, guys.